Go to the Ten Commandments. Go to this is what these are the things you should be teaching your children. Alright? It's the same things that we're learning. You have any questions? Right Since you got any questions? Thank you, son. Please do. That's what we're here for. Right. Let me get the Ten Commandments real quick. Because y'all have to understand, since it's very important for you to come out them pants and put on a dress. It's very important. I understand, but it's going to be a slow process. Right? And with you knowing that, the Most High is going to hold you accountable for that. You understand me? And, and the only reason, don't, and I'm not trying to force you to do this, but, sister, that end is near. That's right. It's very near. This world is dying. You hear me? Babylon the Great is falling. You know what you're you looking for? All right, let's go to the 10. Let's go to the 10. We go to the 10. We're going to go to the 10 commandments. 20. Let's start at, uh, let's start at the first. Uh, uh, yeah, verse 3. Verse 3. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 3. Listen up, brother. These are the things you're supposed to be teaching yourself and your children and your, and your soon to be wife. Lord willing. Okay? So you go home, you teach her these things that you learned today. You see, and, test, and try and test her spirit and see if she's going to roll with you. Really? Right. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What do you think that means? Make it plain, though. Make it plain. Make it plain to everybody. Make it plain. What does it mean? Because it has to make sense to you. How can you keep something if it don't make sense to you? Yes, sir. You got to make it plain, bro. We are here to make it plain. We have to get the sense like our forefather Nehemiah said. How do, how do you worship another God? I'm going to say it like that. How do you give reverence to another God other than the Most High God? What, what daily acts do we do that serve other masters understand, uh, instead of God? Like going to church on Sunday. Like, we know that church on Sunday is a no-no, right? Yeah, the church, on, the church is supposed to be, the Catholic is supposed to be on a Saturday, the Sabbath. They, they worship on the first day instead of the last day. Yeah, right? I'll pray. You know that too, sis? Y'all Have y'all read that? Do y'all have the proof of that? Do y'all have you seen that in the Bible for yourself? Like if somebody was to actually prove that, could you do that? I can't. We'll get we'll get you there, man. Find it, though. That's good, but that is you're right. That's one good that's a, that's one good example. What about you, sis? How? I wouldn't know how to talk about it, but I wouldn't. No, know no, no. I'm saying, uh, understood. As uh, how could you worship another guy? How could you make sure you're not in violation of one, uh, this commandment right here in Exodus 20 and 3? We need to get one more time. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Say again. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm going to give it to you like this. Like when the Most High tell us that it is um, to congregate on the Sabbath, right? Congregate on the Sabbath and you just sit there and be like, oh, uh, well, um, I got to wash my car. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you're just placing things before the father that could be your child that could be your husband that could be your wife that could be anything it could be money it could be any lust it could be women it could be anything bro that you place above the father man. that can become your god because why you let that whomever or thing the material thing become take the place of him do what he says you know what i'm saying give me the next one uh, verse four verse four oh. thou shalt Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above uh -huh. or that is in the earth beneath uh -huh. or that is in the water under the earth. Okay, I got a question for you. So when you think about graven image, right? What image do you think about when you see this right here? What image? What graven image do you think that? What, what Christians were? Huh? That, that, that's it. That wasn't given, that wasn't given to us. To worship the most high said don't make those things you understand what i'm saying those don't those don't symbolize christ the most high god did not give us a cross or a rock to go walk around to take a hodge you understand what i'm saying what is a rock or a cross gonna do for you that's right that's right nothing you're giving power to things that the most high has created this honor and worship the father not the creation honor the creator you understand what I'm saying? Give me another one. Go, uh, give me, uh, uh give me the Sabbath. Yeah. Give me, uh, yeah, go verse 9. Check this out. Start at verse 8. Verse 8. Check this out. It's another one. Remember the Sabbath day. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. 
Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath, because why? We was going to forget these things. That's why we out here to cause y'all to, to remember. Bethink yourselves. You understand what I'm saying? Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor. Most High has given you six days to work, but this day don't work. The Most High rested on the seventh day. Do you trump the Father? Are you mightier than the Father? Are you mightier than God? Are you mightier than God? So if God rests, what should you do? My dad chill, I'm chilling too. Like, what's up? What are we doing today? What are we doing today? That's what I'm doing. Oh, break? I, thank you, Lord, because I need it. You understand what I'm saying? Break. But the, huh? but the seventh day, but the seventh day, like you say, if you look at a calendar, the first day is Sunday, the seventh day is Saturday. Read. Is the Sabbath of the Lord right. thy God uh -huh. in it? Thou shalt not do any work. You don't do no work. You don't cook clean. You rest. On that day, we fellowship and come together and honor and praise the Lord. Understand what I'm saying? Read. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle. That's what the brother was hitting on right there with you. Like if, um, I forgot exactly what you said, but you, if you have any, so like if you, if you got servants, right, and you observe the Sabbath, or you don't eat pork, that you, are you gonna let them cook it for you? Are you gonna let them cook it for themselves in your house? No, you in my house, you gonna follow my rules. So everybody in your house, whether they believe or not, when they come over, they have to keep God's laws. Right. Read. They say even the cattle too, right? Yes, sir. Down to your dog. Nor thy cattle, Read. nor thy stranger uh -huh. that is within thy gates. Uh -huh. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. He, he made the, the most high made all of this in six days. So he, so he, he worked for six days. So we worked for six days. That's right. Read. The sea and all that is in them. Uh -huh. he, and rested on the seventh day. Yeah, what, what did God do? and rested on the seventh day. So what should you do on the seventh day? Rest. You should be, you should be grateful for that thing. That nine to five is terrible. Right. Terrible. You understand me? That seven days is the only time I get to come down and unwind and be with my brothers and sisters and not have to have to worry about somebody on my neck all the time. You understand what I'm saying? So you should be looking forward to that thing. Was that it on that? Yes, sir. All right. Wherefore the Lord blessed the, the Sabbath day. Right. This is a high. This is what you call a high holy day. Not a holiday. They took that from us too. It's a high holy day. Ooh. And hallowed it. He hallowed it. They made it special. He separated just like his children. He got a separate day for his for his separate people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He made this day for you. It's special. Everybody else. Everybody else can try to observe this, but it ain't, but it ain't for you, man. It ain't for them. It's for us. Is that it? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.